Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. As you can see in the title, today we are reviewing the Far From Home official trailer. We've had a teaser, we've got a little bit of a glimpse from the Spider-Man Far From Home movie that comes out uh, later this summer, but we haven't had an official trailer. And this is something I'm super excited about actually because this is the first movie in the MCU post Endgame. And Endgame changed everything. Uh, the entire world, the entire landscape has been completely changed post Endgame. Now, I don't really want to get into spoilers unless there are spoilers in the trailer. If you haven't seen Endgame, I don't know if they're going to put spoilers in the trailer. I, It's been two weeks now. Everybody's seen the movie. The movie's made over $2 billion. If you haven't seen Endgame and you're watching the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer, what are you really doing? Um, but nonetheless, um, I'm excited to see this trailer. First off, Spider-Man... My favorite superhero. Second off, I really like that he's in the MCU and I like what Tom Holland has done with the character. And I'm excited to kind of see where they go, um, again, post-Endgame. So, it's super exciting, but without any further ado, let's get into this trailer. <sighs> Here we go. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have Alright, well, I guess the game, answer is that. We're talking trailer. spoilers in this trailer um, with what they're giving us. I see his face. He's very missing. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. <laughs> Man, they really hit you in the fields right off the bat with that Tony the next Iron Man now? stuff. Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Keep up the good work because I am going on vacation. Tom Holland's a perfect Peter Parker. So witty. His exactly. timing's awesome. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Tom. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk. But I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. <laughs> Sean Favreau is awesome. We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh, <laughs> MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. Nick Fury and Spider-Man together. Wow. This is Mr. Beck. I could have used someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. A snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. Wow, they're opening the multiverse in the MCU. Maybe someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off-world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But who's the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? Bitch, please, you've been to space. <laughs> That's perfect. I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> right, you wow. Not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio looks so good. Sometimes people die. Oh my God. Wow. Like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? Wow. Oh, Shield jets and everything. Jack, who are you? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. <laughs> New plan. Wow. Wow. Whoa, that trailer had a lot. If you haven't seen Endgame, I really hope you didn't see that trailer. Whoa. The world needs a new spy or needs a new Iron Man. And they are setting him up. They are setting Spider-Man up to be, I feel like, the real leader of the MCU. And opening up the multiverse? What? I know they just had uh, Into the Spider-Verse, which was um, Sony's animated movie that came out in December. But opening up the multiverse in the MCU, that changes everything. You've got... I mean, sure, they went back in time. They opened up all these different timelines. The Thanos snap really kind of... It, it shattered all dimensions. It shattered the universe. And 
Wow, I like what I saw with that trailer. Spider-Man, his suits looked great. The Iron Spider costume, I'm glad he's back in that at the beginning, kind of giving homage to giving homage to Iron Man. Um, I like that they let off with that heavy Tony emotion, the feelings that Peter Parker's obviously going to be going through when he saw his mentor die, give his life to save everyone. Um, like, uh, he's in high school. He's like a sophomore, or a junior in high school. And to see the person that you look up to, the person that you have really wanted to embody and become, die and give his life for everyone, like, think about that. Like, he's got to be going through so much um, and to still be doing what he's doing as Spider-Man, to be um, carrying on the mantle of... Uh, superhero after everything they went through in Infinity War and Endgame. Uh, this movie, I feel like, has a huge, huge heavy burden on it to carry that weight of Infinity War and Endgame and push us into the next chapter, the next phase of the MCU. But opening up the multiverse looks is that's exciting. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio looks great. Um, Spider-Man has a huge catalog of villains anyways, um, so opening up the multiverse, doing things like that, you now, I feel like opening up the multiverse, can they play with Venom, Tom Hardy's Venom, can they start to do some things now that they are, they've opened up, they've opened up that sandbox now with the multiverse, can they, can they bring in Tom Hardy's Venom? Maybe in a third Spider-Man movie or something like that. It gets very interesting. It gets very interesting and very fun at this point. But I loved the trailer. And the Nick Fury stuff, I love how, so, how much they're tying Spider-Man into the MCU. And how much they are going to let him kind of carry. Because in the comics, in, in so many like animated TV shows and things like that, Spider-Man carries a very heavy role. A very big role in the Avengers because he's like a god. Seriously, once he got bit by that spider, superhuman strength, superhuman speed, um, like, like, he is, he's the best a person can be, and then he can swing from webs as well. Like, come on, come on. Um, but seriously, I love the trailer. What did you guys think? What are your thoughts on it? What do you think about this being post-Endgame? Um, and what did you guys think about, uh what they're doing with this multiverse. Comment down below. Let's talk about this trailer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go hit that red subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.